So poverty are caused by three possible things and really only three possible things. The third reason people are poor is stupid decisions. When I went broke, it wasn't because anybody oppressed me. It's because I was stupid. It was stupid decisions. Had I continued to make those stupid decisions, I would continue to be broke. If there's one man who keeps it 100% when it comes to realistic tips on becoming financially independent, it has to be Dave Ramsey. He's rampant, articulate, and never minces words when it comes to teaching people how to escape from the trap of financial pitfalls and guiding them to a secure future. For years, he has given countless advice on how to curb unnecessary expenditures while offering insights into better money management and a more sustainable lifestyle. And it's with great pleasure that we bring you the biggest things people spend money on that's keeping them poor. Here's a tip. You might want to pay close attention because no matter how upright you think you are, we're almost certain that some of these points have been nibbling thousands of dollars away from you for years. Number one, the latest technology. Everyone knows how exciting it is to unbox and show off the latest and best gadgets, but constantly chasing such tech can easily be a financial pitfall. The industry evolves fast, and what's cutting edge today is old news tomorrow leaving those who upgrade too frequently with drained finances for what are usually iterated features. Just ask yourself this question. Are those few extra pixels and a half a second quicker loading times truly worth sacrificing financial stability? Never forget this advice from Dave Ramsey. If you want less poverty, statistically and historically, if you'll study the economies of the world, if you want less poverty, increase freedom. Mm. While technology is undeniably cool, being savvy about when to upgrade can save you a lot in the long run. Number two, new cars. I buy a car to impress someone at a stoplight that I will never meet. Would I buy this if no one ever saw it? Oh, yeah. Just like chasing the latest tech, there's this allure around brand new cars. The fresh smell, the untouched interior. However, are they ever going to be cheap? If you're not financially buoyant, you may end up sinking your savings the moment you drive off the lot. Opting for a slightly used car can be a game changer. You get a reliable vehicle at a more wallet-friendly price. Sure, it will be less flashy acquisition compared to newer models, but rest assured that you will be in a healthier position. Number 3. Gym Memberships While getting fit is fantastic, pricey gym memberships can easily be a budget buster. Just think about it. What's the point of paying hundreds of dollars for your fitness ambitions when you're hardly ever going to visit? Home workouts or outdoor activities can be just as effective without burning a hole in your pocket. Remember, the best exercise is the one you actually do consistently. So, before committing to that swanky gym, consider if it aligns with your lifestyle and if the motivation to save some bucks can't be found closer to home. Number 4. Frequent Night Outs Let's be real, guys. Humans are social animals. So having the occasional night out to have some fun is kind of in our nature. But that said, it's not an excuse to waste your money. A lot of people find themselves caught up in the allure of the nightlife, spending on drinks and adult entertainment. But those small expenses add up, putting a dent in the wallet. Consider occasional gatherings at home or opt for budget-friendly activities. But remember, it's not about saying no to fun, it's about finding the balance. Your social life doesn't have to take a back seat, but being mindful about where and how you spend those evening hours can make a significant difference in your financial landscape. Number 5. Gambling According to a 2012 study at Yale University, people who sit in the lowest fifth, in terms of socioeconomic status, have the highest rate of lottery gambling. And this is a big problem. Whether it's slot machines or card games, the house usually holds the upper hand. So, walking home with profits is always going to be a long shot. Instead of relying on luck, consider investing in experiences or activities with a more predictable outcome. Gambling might offer a temporary rush, but building a secure financial foundation through index funds, for instance, brings stability. Number 6. Lottery Tickets just like gambling, the allure of a life-changing jackpot can be tempting. After all, who wouldn't want to be a millionaire with a lottery ticket? Sadly though, the odds are overwhelmingly against winning big. The money spent on lottery tickets could be better used elsewhere, 
perhaps by building an emergency fund or investing wisely. While the dream of sudden wealth is enticing, it's crucial to recognize the reality that financial stability is more reliably achieved through thoughtful planning and strategic choices. So once again, instead of relying on luck, consider making choices that actively shape your financial future. Number 7. Smoking Recent studies suggest that the average smoker has the potential to accumulate $250,000 over 30 years if he invests in place of a daily puff. Guys, beyond the obvious health concerns, smoking is a significant financial drain. And the worst part is that low-income earners who continue this habit lose both their health and their finances. Cutting down or quitting not only improves your well-being, but also frees up money for more meaningful expenses. It's a tough habit to break, but considering the financial and health benefits, it's a worthwhile investment in yourself. Number 8. Regular Coffee what if we told you you're spending thousands of dollars on your daily stop for caffeine alone? Walk with us for a moment. If you spend $5 on coffee every weekday, that will be $100 every month, which in turn racks up to $1,200 per year. And surely, there's got to be a better way to spend $1,000, right? Instead of regular coffee stops, try brewing your own for around $25 a month. Not only are you going to save a lot of money, but you can also channel those sums into stocks and other passive income streams. Number 9. Buying in bulk when it doesn't make any sense While it's undeniable that you can potentially save a lot by buying in bulk, it can sometimes be a monumental waste. For instance, while buying non-perishable items does make sense, Buying in bulk for perishable food items that could go bad before you finish your stock is like flushing your hard-earned money down the drain. To prevent this, only buy in bulk when it makes sense. Another smart money move from Dave Ramsey is to always check the per unit price to see if you're really saving, or if it's cheaper to buy the same product in a smaller quantity at the grocery store. Number 10. Designer Baby Clothes While it's adorable to dress little ones in stylish outfits, Splurging on designer baby clothes is a luxury that low-income earners shouldn't afford. Babies grow quickly, and those tiny outfits are outgrown in a blink. Always consider the longevity of those tiny couture pieces, and let your baby's first fashion steps be a mix of cute, practical, and budget-friendly options. Number 11. Trendy Clothes Just like designer baby clothes, trendy clothes in vogue can be costly especially if you're mindlessly following the fashion wave. Guys, the truth is that trends fade, and the closet full of must-haves quickly becomes outdated. Investing in timeless, versatile pieces that have good quality is way more cost-effective and will leave you with more money. So, before you splurge on the latest fit, consider if it aligns with your long-term style and budget. Fashion is fun, but being slave to trends can be hard on both your closet and your wallet. Number 12. Expensive Vacations It's that time of the year again for dreamy getaways to exotic locales. And while relaxing is definitely good for the mind, going for high-priced, first-class flights and luxury vacations can strain finances. When going on a vacation, consider exploring budget-friendly travel options or hidden gems closer to home without leaving a gaping hole in your wallet. Those few days in paradise are not worth being financially crippled for months. Number 13. Credit Cards There is a reason why credit cards are described as the cigarette of the financial world. According to Dave Ramsey, what may seem like easy swipes to provide instant gratification usually leads to unpayable high interest rates and mounting debt, which are some of the worst things to have when trying to make money. When you pledge your income to someone else in the form of debt, you slow down your ability to build wealth and you add risk and anxiety to your life. Instead of hapless spending, consider a budget, an emergency fund, and strategic spending to keep credit cards from becoming a source of financial stress. Number 14. Expensive Cable Packages Everyone loves quality entertainment to relax and unwind, but come on guys, cable packages are kind of old school. In the age of streaming, shelling out for pricey cable packages is no longer wise as there are affordable streaming services available that won't just keep you entertained, but also keep your budget in check. And guess what? Many of them offer similar quality and more. Number 15. Brand Name Groceries 
whatever you think you're spending at the grocery store, you're wrong. It's more than yeah, that. Three. While the allure of brand name groceries might seem appealing, it's also worth adding that store brands offer comparable quality at a lower cost. This may sound like a difficult pill to swallow, but brand names usually don't come with significant benefits despite the costlier tag. So instead of falling for a better is costlier appeal, do your homework on other alternatives on the shelves without sacrificing quality. It may just be worth it. Number 16. Glam and Beautification have you ever noticed how almost all of the rich people in the world who got their money from sweat and investments have simple haircuts and public appearances? Why don't they put on expensive clothes with encrusted diamonds and other luxury pearls? The truth is, it's all a waste. How dare you work so hard for the entire week or month only to reward yourself with a fancy glam cut or accessory that will either fade away in two weeks or remind yourself of how spendthrift you are? just so you can impress people who genuinely don't care. Be prudent. Stop being wasteful. Number 17. Impulsive Purchases If there's one thing that drains your earnings to the max, it's got to be impulsive acquisitions. You don't need six laptop skins, kitchen appliances that you're never going to use, or shiny worldly accessories. As an adult, you already know the things you actually need. Everything else is just a list of wants that are being marketed to you to make you believe they're worth your money. Always differentiate between need and want and stick to them. That's the only way you're going to take control of your financial life. You have to live on less than you make and you have to have a plan and you have to be intentional. It hasn't got anything to do with the income. It's got to do with you freaking controlling the person in your mirror. Number 18. Food Waste Recent studies show that the average person throws away 40% of the vegetables they purchase, 17% of their dairy products, and 14% of their meat. And believe it or not, many of us do even worse. Guys, buying more than needed or letting groceries spoil can lead to unnecessary expenses. Always plan your meals, use leftovers creatively, and keep track of expiration dates, as they save you a lot on wasted groceries and consequently wasted money. Number 19. Games and In-App Purchases Quick question. How often have you spent money on in-app purchases, whether large or small ones? It's more than you can count, right? Candy Crush reportedly makes millions of dollars every day from people buying extra lives and other purchases, and thousands of people around the world made it possible. Tone down on your expenses for a bit. Losing an in-game life to play in the next round can save you a bucket load of money as daily purchases have a knack for piling up. Number 22. Lucky Charms or Spiritual Items Let's be real, guys. Isn't it ironic how people who earn less spend their hard-earned money on lucky charms or stones that are supposed to bring more Benjamins into their lives? You know how rich people get rich? They save money. The best way to make 50 bucks is not by spending it on ordinary rocks and spiritual items that, wait for it, don't even work. Those who claim otherwise either faced a classic case of coincidence or experienced what we like to call the placebo effect. Instead of falling for the trap of these items, buy stocks or something else. Number 21. Miracle Diets and Weird Fitness Products This might sound like a heartbreak to a lot of people, but if you took a decade to become fat, how could you possibly lose 50% of that weight thanks to a miracle tea promoted to you as an ad on Instagram? What's the logic behind that? The models you just saw didn't take any tea or weird products. They work hours every day to keep fit, and you should too. Number 22. Not checking on your health. Ever heard of the saying, health is wealth? While it may seem like a financially savvy move to ignore checkups, the truth is that your intentional ignorance may be your greatest enemy. If you don't go to the dentist to fix a cavity, best believe you're going to pay more when you need an implant in two years. Don't play with your health. Be proactive. Number 23. Your bank. Your most powerful wealth building tool is your income. And when you spend your whole freaking life giving your money to banks who fill up the skyline and have furniture nicer than yours, that makes you stupid. Your bank is costing you money. Period. Each time you put money in your bank, you're going to pay a commission. And the same happens when you take it out. And don't even get us started on how putting your money in the bank in a volatile economy costs you both in the short and long term. 
The old rules of saving don't work anymore. And that's why you've got to make your money work for you through purchasing index funds or high-yield savings accounts. Number 24. Donations This is going to be a controversial topic, but what's the truth without being hurtful? Guys, in case you had no idea, whenever you're donating money to a cause, the money doesn't go to the people in need. It usually gets funneled into the purses of those actually involved with the charity. While giving to the needy is a noble idea, charities are one of the most organized scams in the world. And the sad part is that most people are clueless about it. Instead of donating to lost causes, get something nice for the local shelter near you. Or better yet, figure out how to uplift them by showing them how to make money instead of relying on others. Number 25. Extended Warranties For poorer individuals, the temptation to add an extended warranty to every electronic purchase can be strong. However, many gadgets already come with ample warranties, making those extra coverage plans often unnecessary. Before shelling out for an extended warranty, check the existing coverage. More often than not, you might find your device already well protected. So, rather than doubling up on warranties, pocket those extra dollars and trust in the initial coverage to shield your gadgets from unexpected hiccups. Number 26. Trendy Home Decor a lot of people have no idea how the desire to keep up with ever-changing decor trends can be a costly redecoration routine. Just like wasting money on trendy clothes, consider getting cost-effective options that are proven to be timeless. You'll be surprised by how much you save on timeless concepts that not only add a touch of sophistication to your space, but also keep your budget intact without sacrificing style. Number 27. Gourmet Ingredients can we all agree that cooking at home is a budget-friendly win? Nowadays, a lot of people find themselves smitten by exotic flavors. But more often than not, affordable alternatives can still deliver delicious results. Remember that high-end items don't always lead to better results. A little kitchen creativity can go a long way in keeping both your taste buds and budget satisfied. Number 28. Expensive Pets As sad as it sounds, the long-term costs of pet ownership especially when it's a high-maintenance breed, are one of the fastest ways to lose money over time. Veterinary bills, grooming expenses, feeding, and specialized care can quickly add up. And the worst part is that, while it's nothing to consider for wealthy people, low earners might struggle to pay for all of these. Before you add a new furry member to your home, always consider the cost, not just in the short term. Think about the cost of maintaining them for years. Number 29 excessively large homes. While everyone dreams of a sprawling house that's big enough for every worldly desire, larger homes often mean higher maintenance costs, from increased utility bills to more extensive repairs. And guess what? They're hardly ever worth it. Before committing to that extensive property, consider if the added space is a genuine necessity or more of a financial strain. And if you're still in doubt, take a look at this and then you have trouble funding your car replacement fund, your 401k, your kid's college fund, because you become increasingly house poor. Over the scope of the next decade, it's gonna be very hard for you to avoid debt and prosper if your house payment's eating up all of your income. Opting for a more modest home can free up resources for other aspects of life. So, instead of stretching your budget to fill every room, consider how a cozier space could provide comfort without the hefty price tag. Number 30. Premium Gasoline What exactly is in premium gasoline that makes it better than the usual options at the station? We're pretty sure you have no idea. Using the recommended fuel type for your car ensures optimal performance. And given how premium fuel might not provide any significant benefits, why bother? Before you reach for the pricier pump, check your owner's manual for the recommended fuel type. You might find that your engine runs just as smoothly on regular gas, leaving your budget with a bit more mileage. Number 31. Extensive Storage Ever walked into a shop to buy yourself a new phone, only to realize that the same models come with different price tags depending on the storage options? Take the latest iPhone 15 series, for instance. The models cover 128 gigabytes through a terabyte of storage. While maxing out is nice and all, do you really need a terabyte for storage? If you're not a massive content creator, you could do pretty well with the lowest option. Instead of falling into the marketing trap, always analyze what works best for you and, most importantly, what is most cost-effective. 
Number 32. Unused Fitness Trackers Keeping fit works so well when you incorporate technology into it. And nowadays, the allure of having a fitness tracker is just so juicy. However, it should never be bought just for the sake of it. While a high-end tracker can be pretty useful, how can it be a good investment if it's going to end up gathering dust? Before splurging on the latest tracker, consider whether its features align with your workout routine and if it's a commitment you're ready to stick with. Keeping your fitness and financial health in sync ensures both you and your wallet stay in great shape. Number 33. Excessive Home Technology Similarly to trackers, smart home technology is an amazing tool that can easily elevate your standard of living. But alas, the temptation of getting one can strain your budget. When investing in smart home technology, choose your devices wisely by focusing on practicality rather than trends. And you can do this by considering if one truly enhances your daily life or if it's more of a high-tech headache for your finances. A thoughtful approach to home technology ensures you're not just keeping up with the trends, but also with your budget. Number 34. Car Accessories Fine, we admit that having a car without accessories makes it a bit bland, but in your search for this clothing, it's crucial to elevate the necessity of add-ons that don't significantly enhance functionality. So, instead of jazzing up your ride with every available accessory under the sun, ask yourself if each addition genuinely contributes to your driving experience, or if it's more of a wallet-draining whim. You might just be saving hundreds of dollars in the long run. Number 35. Loans While loans can provide financial flexibility for people who need them, it's important that you tread carefully. Taking on unnecessary loans or high-interest debts can lead to a cycle of financial strain that can cripple you for years, or worse, leave you bankrupt. Before signing on the dotted line, assess the necessity of the loan and the long-term impact on your budget. Prioritize low-interest options and ensure that borrowed funds are used wisely, contributing to your financial well-being rather than becoming a burden. Number 36. Get Rich Quick Schemes it's easy to see why get-rich-quick schemes can never come to an end. There's nothing more enticing to a poor person than the promise of financial freedom in a flash. However, as juicy as those investments may seem, they always lead to disappointment and financial loss. And the sad part is that you only have yourself to blame because you become desperate, a character trait that Dave Ramsey believes is the worst. When faced with an opportunity to make money, especially if the returns are quick and too good to be true, have it in the back of your mind that it probably is. Building wealth is supposed to take time, effort, and careful planning, so stop falling for silly scams. Focus on long-term strategies that lead to genuine financial growth. Number 37. Eating Out There's absolutely no denying the fact that eating out is so convenient and can save you a lot of time. but. Can you deny the fact that it's a drain on your pockets? Before making that reservation, always think about how much you're losing because what may seem like a few Benjamins may become a mountain in six months. So, instead of relying solely on restaurants, balance your food budget with home-cooked delights. Not only are you saving money, but you are also honing a life skill. Number 38. Gourmet Cooking Classes And speaking of culinary duties, there is always going to be a temptation to enroll in a pricey gourmet class for those who have no idea what to do in the kitchen. Now, if you fall into this category, there's no shame in wanting to get better. The only thing that you need to do is scrap any thoughts of paying for an expensive class and consider more affordable options that can still elevate your cooking prowess, like free video clips on YouTube. You'll be surprised by how many things you can learn from the comfort of your home without spending a dime. Number 39. Premium Pet Grooming Remember when we told you that maintaining pets can be a drain on your pockets? Many dog owners end up spending hundreds of dollars on grooming lessons for their pets, and we can't help but shake our heads. Like cooking classes, several budget-friendly alternatives, like DIYs, can keep your furry companion looking and feeling their best while saving you money. Number 40. Luxury Car Leases for those who dream of making statement entries, the allure of cruising in a luxury car is one that can never be shaken. But while looking good is good business, it's essential to evaluate whether a high-end car lease is truly necessary for your lifestyle. If the added features don't align with those needs, 
Or worse, if you're doing it because it's a status symbol, stop immediately. It's never worth it. In a few weeks, everyone is going to forget how flashy you looked, but your expenditure will never fade. Number 41. Designer Perfumes or Colognes Designer colognes and other fragrances can leave you smelling like a million dollars, in a good way. But what if we told you that there are a lot of alternatives that cost only a fraction of the price? As a matter of fact, make inquiries with true enthusiasts and dealers. Or better yet, watch clips of content creators making comparisons between expensive and cheaper fragrances. The latter, when full of quality, often outperforms the former. And as a matter of fact, people who take part in the surveys even go as far as to question why the designer fragrance doesn't blow the alternative away. Remember, expensive items aren't always the best.